Hey guys, my name is Tommy Cowalder. I'm a grassroots American racing driver from Scranton, Pennsylvania, currently racing in the North American F1000 Championship. Not having the funding for karting, I started racing in 2016 with simulators, working as often as possible after school and on the weekends and any job I can find to fund the beginnings of my racing career. From the early stages, I've had a fight for a career in motorsport, but I have high aspirations of winning races and championships in as many different disciplines of motorsport as I can. Through this vlog series, I'll bring you guys along for the ride from this year in the F1000 championship to the future as I rise to the ranks of motorsport. All right guys, welcome back to round three of F1000 here at Barber Motorsport Park. I'm getting ready to start my qualifying lap here and I'm about to turn up the volume and stop talking here in a second because you're going to hear the car making a noise that it's not supposed to make so we'll hear that right about now-ish. See, so yeah, that kind of not ideal that's the engine not working <laughs> so i'm gonna be pulling off here like literally just about to start a qualifying lap i think i still set a good enough lap time for p4 despite this like obviously not on this lap but on previous laps i set a lap good enough for p4 so not the end of the world i'm gonna play the clip here of the uh workers picking me up and uh towing me back to the pit lane so i thought that might be interesting Good. Howdy. Can you got nothing broken, have you? No, it's just the engine is out. Okay, alright. So I'll be able to tow. Okay. I have no idea what gear I'm in because I lost my dash, so I might have to just clutch in. Okay. But... Just let that go if you have a problem, okay? Yep. Alright. You know you're gonna break me going down the hill when we go and go and pit in. Hold this up till I get it tight. We're gonna go to the cut through, okay? When I get it tight, you come on in the truck. All right guys, I'm back in my hotel now. Unfortunately, qualifying did not go the way that I had hoped. My alternator decided to stop being an alternator from the sounds of it, which means I lost drive and I didn't get to put in a lap and the tires were really up to temperature. It's unfortunate. Still starting P4 though. The team did as good of a job as possible. They're still working on the car now to make sure that it's perfect and ready for tomorrow based off all of my setup advice and everything like that. So tomorrow, the car is gonna be as good as ever and you know, Barber is a difficult track to overtake at, but I'm pretty sure I can move up the field and I'm going to do my best to win the race tomorrow. I'm confident in myself. I know what I'm capable of. I know the pace that I have. And if I can pull off the overtakes at Barber, which is way easier said than done, um, I'll be able to move up the field. Uh, so yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Temperatures, the pressures are set pretty low, so they have room to grow. Yeah. So because we don't have that ability to do that bleed off like we do in Quali. So we're not coming in after four laps to blue the tire? I mean, if you want to, we can, but, you know, I don't think it's conducive to a good race man. Um, it depends on how much we find on the day. Well, that's a good point. So, but, they'll come in quick, you know what I mean? Like, you can, you know, don't worry about trying to save them or anything like that. We won't run them this afternoon. We'll run the 35 this afternoon. We'll burn these so off. So burn them, dude, yeah. Good to go? I am. Radio check, radio check. Tighten that. We gotta go. 
low, dude. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine where it is right now. Okay, fire. Fuel pump. It's up. Oh, ignition on. All right, do it again. What the fuck? Get, are you throttling it a little bit? Yeah. All right. Hit the, here, I got throttled. Just hit the starter. Flat. Why are all these flashing? Water temp. Something's going on. We're not getting some sort of data. Shit. Thing ran fucking. Were you here when it was warming up? I think so. Like 10 minutes ago. What the fuck is going on with this thing? Go. Yeah, hold on, hold on. So obviously the race has not gone according to plan whatsoever. I ended up starting the race like a lap or two down. So the session just became a session of trying to set the lap record. So that's what you're about to see right here. It's my best attempt at setting the lap record. And you're going to see why it's an attempt and not the lap record right at the end.
So that spin in the final corner pretty much ruined that lap record attempt and in the very next lap I started to see smoke pouring out of the engine so I just pull it over here at the exact same spot as before and hop right on out of the car. guys race one done uh unfortunately i didn't actually make the start of the race i started the race about a half a lap down and it just quickly became a session of trying to uh set the lap record um so tenth and a half off of it without the flat shifter um and that's that's some lap time i mean i was basically driving a manual car and the person who set the lap record was not driving a manual car so um you know it is what it is i'm obviously disappointed because i obviously had the pace to win um but, you know, it is what it is. I can only control what I can control, and I was fast in the moment. So, they think they're going to be able to fix the car for the second race here in the afternoon. Uh, they have a few hours to do it. Um, engine let go on the last lap. Um, and they're not 100% sure what it is yet. They might be able to fix it. They might not be able to fix it. Um, they're going to figure it out. So, I'll check in with you guys then. All right, lining up for the start of the race, starting P2 thanks to me setting the second fastest time in the first race, getting ready around the final corner here. And off we go, black car on the left there, you can see he clearly jumps the start. Uh, <laughs> we didn't get, they didn't get penalized for it because we started behind Atlantic, which means they can't really wave off our start, so we just kind of got away with that one. Around the outside of the white car there, Steve Hamilton. You see me just struggling to get the power down here. I mean, I'm just trying with everything I got there. I defend a little bit on the inside there against Hamilton. Nathan does a nice pass around the outside there on Tim Pierce. And Shane just pulls away from me on the straight there with all of his horsepower. Uh, not really anything I can do about that one. Uh, Totally missed that apex, totally out of line here. I didn't even notice that until I looked back on the... Oh, I'm sure I noticed it when I was driving, but I'm noticing it a lot now right now, too. You just see here just a straight line deficit that I have here. It's very difficult around Barber to make a pass and extremely difficult to make a pass under a situation like this. I'm just going to do my best to try to stick as close as possible to him and get the best runs out of the corner that I possibly can. Try my best to set up for it here to get on power as soon as I can. Do a nice double apex there. Try to tuck into his draft. Try to get a move done in this corner. And he's just pulling around the street. You can see my hand out there. <laughs> I was very, very, very angry. Totally blow that apex trying to break as late as possible. You can tell the tires are still just in a little bit of a warm-up phase currently, because uh, when I get on power I'm having a lot more of a moment than I was having before. And I'm just doing my best to stick as close as I possibly can to him. Blow that apex again, I think that one was actually worse than last time. <laughs> little wiggle from the car in front. Definitely have more pace on him through this section. Uh, you can see just how close I'm able to get to him, but it's very difficult around Barber to make an overtake, so I'm sort of just stuck here trying to do the best that I can to get a run.
Opening up the corner again, trying to get a good run out of it. A little bit of a double apex on power as soon as I can. Tucking into the draft, see if I can get a little bit of run on him, and now he's pulling away. And yellow flags are out, so safety car is actually going to come out now, so we're going to spend a few laps behind the safety car. That car spun out over to the right, and then there's another car spun out over to the right over here, and I have no idea what happened between them. Alright, here we go for the safety car restart. On the throttle now, trying to get a good run here. Doesn't necessarily work in my favor. Nice turn one, thinking about trying to go on around the outside here. He brakes later than I thought he would, so it didn't really work out. And then I'm starting to notice here that I'm losing some of my electronics. The car didn't want to downshift there, so I had a blip for it, which is what it was doing in race one where I had to uh, lift off for the upshifts and flip myself for the downshifts. It happens again here, so I run totally wide because I couldn't really get down the gear, so I didn't really have the engine braking. Then the engine starts to cut out here, and so I can't even like <laughs> even get close to getting by this Atlanta. He does have more power, but it's not supposed to be that bad. So, engine's cutting out, starting to make all kinds of noise. And I pretty much know here, yeah, this is pretty much the end. I'm going to have to pull over. I'm just trying to find the best flag station to pull off on, uh, which is going to be a little bit more up the road here. I'm going to come through here. I could have pulled off to the right there. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe there wasn't a flagger in there. But I shoot myself off to the left right here and then sprint up that hill. All right, guys, so race two is all done. Uh, unfortunately, it ended after about four laps. Uh, the engine went again. Just an unfortunate thing. Uh, they didn't have enough time to swap the engine out entirely. So, uh, you know, we always thought it was going to happen. It's just unfortunate that it did. Um, the team did the best that they could, just the way racing is sometimes. Um, as far as the race up until that point, uh, Two of the people very clearly jumped the start. It was quite quite noticeable. Um, and it kind of put me on the back foot from there because they both got by me on the start. Um, it, it was it was pretty bad, but it is what it is. Um, they're told not to do that again. So, you know, for the future races, that's not going to be an issue, I hope. Um, and if it is, though, there will be a penalty for it. Um, so, yeah, all in all, the weekend, in terms of results, is very disappointing. But in terms of what I can control, I think it was a positive weekend. I mean, a tenth and a half off the lap record while not having my flat shift, so I'm essentially driving a manual car. Um, I had to come completely off the gas pedal to shift when everyone else can just bang through the gears. I mean, that's tenth and a half off under those circumstances. I was moving. Uh, that, that lap was quick. Um, you know, I definitely pushed myself to the limits, pushed the car to the limits, um, and I'm getting a lot closer to the way that I know I can drive in, in sim racing and everything like that. So, you know, I, I'm not super down in the dumps about it. Obviously, I'm disappointed because I don't have any trophies uh, sitting in the car with me right now. Uh, but what I do have is the fact that I have improved throughout the weekend, and I'm continuing to improve throughout the season, and that's what I'm really 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 happy about um so yeah pittsburgh is in less than two weeks so yeah we'll check in with you guys at pittsburgh um for round four of this championship talk to you then